Hey, what's up, my niggas, bro? I'm just coming in the uh, beginning of this video real quick. Just to say thank you for 9,000 subs, bro. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate everybody that was following and shit. And I'm a, I apologize for, like, not freaking posting for, like, three months, bro. It's been, like, three months since I post, bro. I apologize for not posting for, like, three months, bro. It's just... I just... I just got, I, I went back to school, bro. Niggas went back to school and shit like that. And I just had it to like adjust to a different schedule. So, because I be busy as hell now. So, <laughs> I just had to adjust to a different schedule and shit like that. So, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to like just post one bit a week, to be honest. I'm just going to try to post like one bit a week. That's probably all I can do is one bit a week now, for real, for real, because, like, I'll be hella busy, yo, work in school and shit like that, but, yeah, bro, that's all I had to tell y'all, yo, thanks, y'all, thanks for 9,000 subs again, bro, appreciate y'all, I love all y'all, I love everybody that support me on this YouTube shit, because, bro, I just really do this shit as a hobby, to be honest, bro, <laughs> but, yeah, bro, on to the video. What the fuck it is, YouTube? It's DMX Supreme back with another video, whatever you want to call it. And today, <laughs> bro, they back on it, bro. They back on it, bro. They back beefing, bro. Chris Travis and Xavier Wolf, my guy. Chris Travis and Xavier Wolf back beefing, bro. Bro, like, bro, this is crazy. This is crazy, bro. Like, all right, so, bro, this what happened. You know, I was just looking on Instagram for real. Shout out Uzi Bands, bro. He always be on top of everything that goes on in the underground, like that ass. But, bro, I, I just going scrolling through, scrolling through Instagram. And I just seen Uzi Bands, bro. We back on Chris ass. Niggas recently just made fun of my little brother Brandon getting shot three times. Shit ain't funny. And it's over. We on go. I'm on his head till he die. That, that's what bro said. That's what Xavier Wolf said. And then Chris Travis say, nigga, you an anime rapper. I've been trying to meet up with you for the past two years now. I, I guess, which it is, that's a fact, bro, because I, I have been hearing stories of Chris Travis, like, last time, freaking Xavier Wolf beefed with Chris Travis, bro, um, Chris Travis was trying to meet up with, bro, <laughs> and nothing happened, but anyway, um, <clears throat> tell your fans how scared of you, scared of me you is, and uh, Xavier Wolf responds saying, talk about how we ran you out of LA, Chris, explain that to the people, nigga, you live in Florida now. Your shows are a flop. Your new music numbers are all flops. You a joke. We tried to spare you. And I put it on my on your mama. You don't want real smoke. You know where I'm at. Damn, Xavier Wolf talking uh, talking like that big bad wolf that he, uh, that he claim he is, bro. But, bro, first, bro, we about to actually see... What Chris Travis numbers and Xavier Wolf numbers really looking like? Let's see if Chris Travis is actually flopping, bro. All right, we're going to look at Chris Travis first, bro. All right, looking at Chris Travis numbers, um, the last, he just put out a song two days ago with my five, 9,000 plays so far. I mean, for a SoundCloud rapper, I mean, that's an underground rapper. That's pretty good, right? Um, 27.2K one month ago. 33.8k five months ago his uh project that he put out six months ago them, them numbers looking good bro them numbers look good them numbers looking good bro don't look a flop to me <laughs> you feel me them numbers looking good like if i see like at least 20k's uh views 20k plays i mean i mean his highest song is what 87k plays i mean it's gonna end up hitting on it like that don't, that don't look like a flop to me bro 
Hold on, a, a tape that he dropped a year ago. Got got some good plays, bro. Nah, bro. This don't seem like a flop, bro. I, Xavier, I think you kind of capping when you saying Chris Travis flopping on his new music. Um, and I can't really say for the shows because I've never been to a Chris Travis show before, or I, I don't even be seeing it on the internet, so can't really be saying like, oh, Chris Travis is a flop on his shows and stuff like that. Nah, I'm, I'm not saying no flop for real, for real. I say if a song was doing like 10k, 5,000 plays or something like that, then I'll be like, all right, yeah, bro, flopping. But nah, bro, I don't, mm, I don't really see bro flopping for real, for real. All right, but now let's look at Xavier Wolf. Okay, Xavier Wolf, the uh new album he just dropped, doing pretty, yeah, doing great numbers. <laughs> to be honest, doing great numbers. Um, Garage Punk EP, great numbers. Damn, I didn't even know Xavier Wolf was doing numbers like these for real, for real. <laughs> Damn, don't eat, don't sleep on Xavier, bro. Um, all right, uh. All the stuff you put out, yeah, you getting like a hundred k each, like each what? You getting a hundred k each each um song for real? Um, Rude Dog that a lot of people didn't like by him, still doing good numbers, yeah. Um, all right, I can say I can say Xavier Wolf is surpassing Chris Travis on the numbers, yeah. Xavier Wolf is passing Chris Travis on the numbers, but. Chris Travis not flopping, bro. His music not flopping, bro. He he's still doing a good fan. Like he still got a good fan base and shit like that. He still got niggas supporting him and shit like that. He he getting twenty k plays, bro. Nah, I don't I don't see that as flopping. As an underground rapper, bro, I don't see that as flopping, bro. I I wouldn't say Chris Travis is flopping. I wouldn't say that, bro. I think he's still doing good. And then next, Chris Travis post a picture of I guess Xavier Wolf where Xavier Wolf lay at lay his head at and shit uh it's a tell the big bad wolf come outside before i blow his house down <laughs> that was kind of hard because you know how xavier wolf like claim himself as like 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 wolf and shit like that you, you know and he's trying he's trying to act like a big bad wolf all right that that's tough that's tough that's tough <laughs> but um <clears throat> yeah then then that was it and then Chris Travis post a video saying I think like he outside or something like that. And then we got somebody else, bro, that been beefing with Xavier Wolf for like years, bro. <laughs> and the reason why he beef with Xavier Wolf is because basically he 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 basically had sex with he claimed that he had sex with Xavier Wolf girl or something like that. Or one of his girls in the past, something like that. And uh, I guess Xavier Wolf was hating. He got mad, and then you know he pressed him at Adam Twenty Two birthday party, and then um, and then like it been up ever since. Like, bro just hated Xavier Wolf. And I'm gonna tell you who it is: House Phone, bro. House Phone from No Jumper and stuff, doing No Jumper shows. You know, High Roller and stuff. Yeah, bro. Um, he 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 fucking hates that nigga, bro. <laughs> He fucking hates that nigga, bro. House Malone hates Xavier Wolf, bro. So, I'm, I look, I end up looking on House Phone's story, and he end up saying, niggas talking about he ran somebody out of LA. Fat ass nigga need to run on the treadmill. Look, nigga look like 45 year olds fat. Fuck. <laughs> Damn, he straight got on like that. And then he said, that nigga looked like he ate his old self. Chris finna beat his ass. And, and you know, Chris Travis be working out himself. I don't know what Xavier Wolf. I mean, Xavier Wolf still look big, though. I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. I wouldn't say he's fucking fat. I don't think Xavier Wolf fat. But I'm he not skinny like how he was in back in the day. And that's probably because he got money. You know, when you get money and stuff, you start eating good, bro. You gonna gain weight. You feel me? But um, he said, um, nigga be acting so tough. Like, bro, you're not from L.A., Nigga, you will get ran out this bitch. What are you talking about? That nigga is with no squabble. Certified pussy. <laughs> Damn. Chris, house phone not house phone not giving a fuck, bro. He he on Xavier Wolf ass, bro. And then uh somebody has said 
laugh my ass off. You talking about Wolf? He from Memphis. He ain't running nobody out of here. He and he was like, "Oh my mama, nigga is pure pussy." So that's what House House Phone said. And then he also said, "Nigga never caught a fade in any beef he had with anybody. I don't know why he trying to act like somebody would be scared of him. Nigga, forty years old, still trying to be a." <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Nah, bro, that's not that's not funny, bro. I, I fuck with Xavier Wolf, bro. I, I I still respect what what he's doing for the underground and shit. I still respect this shit, but um, <laughs> but that nigga said nigga forty years old, still trying to be an underground rapper. Nigga, pack that shit up. You're a bitch, and you will always be one. House house phone house. Household not giving no fucks, bro. <laughs> Household does not give no fucks, bro. He, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. Um, and then after that, bro, Uzi Bands also post said Xavier Wolf told Nell there's no chance of there ever being a reunion reunion with former members and Chris Travis Xavier Wolf. You feel me? Bro said and Nell had post on. Um, bro said what he said. Two seven five dead. And um, Xavier Wolf, I guess, said, bro, stop trying to reunite niggas. It's never, ever going to happen. I don't give a damn about nobody, but mine certainly. You got a good heart, but it's done, bro. I promise. That's what um Xavier Wolf said to um, Nell. <clears throat> so I guess that was probably like really it for real. That's all I really saw on social media. This what this what I got to say about the situation for real, for real. Bro, all right. If. Chris Travis was uh, dissing Xavier Wolf's brother, Brandon. And I, I saw Brandon on Instagram a couple times. He looked like kind of just like Xavier Wolf, to be honest. But um, if if Chris Travis was like dissing Brandon about him getting shot three times and shit like that, I can understand why Xavier Wolf is acting like this. Because, I mean, like, if you diss my brother or something like that, if you diss my brother that got shot three times, bro, I'm going to have to give him the Wibble Snapple, bro. If you don't know what a Wibble Snapple is, bro, it's something I made up. Uppercut, drop kick. You feel me? <laughs> I'm going to have to give him the Wibble Snapple, bro. Like, for real. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I understand where Xavier Wolf coming from. Because, like, come on, bro. Like, what if my brother would have died type shit? You feel me? Like, what if he got paralyzed or some shit? Like, that's not nothing to joke about. That, Like, I... Damn, bro. Y'all used to be brothers back in the day type shit. Like, damn, bro. And it's just, like, crazy because I'm not trying to bring bones in this in this shit or nothing. But it's just crazy because, like, bro, Xavier Wolf cool with bones. And Chris Travis is cool with bones. So it's just, like, bro, like, damn, bro. Like, he kind of got to be cool with both of them. And Xavier Wolf and Chris Travis is beefing this shit. Like, that's, that's just so fucked up, bro. And they, I know they got to put him in, like, a weird situation, bro. Because I've been in a situation like that before. And I know it, I know it be, like, it kind of putting Bones in a weird situation. Like, damn, bro. Both of these niggas beefing and they both my mans, bro. We grew up together. Like, I not really grew up together, but made music together and shit like that. You know, bro. So, I, I know it's just kind of like a weird feeling, for real. Honestly, bro, I just think... Xavier Wolf just need to meet up with Chris. Like, if Chris Travis claiming that he's not trying to meet up with him just to, like, get a fade in and shit. Like, bro, like, Chris Travis not trying to kill him. Like, you feel me? Chris Travis just want to fade from Xavier Wolf, bro. And, bro, Xavier Wolf, just, like, just give him the damn fade so it can just be over with. So y'all can squash the beef and probably end up becoming friends. Or just stop fucking with each other, bro. But, like, going to... Going... Like, just keep on going back and forth on the internet, bro. Like, bro, that shit. Like, come on, bro. Like, y'all, y'all old as shit. Like, y'all old as shit, bro. Y'all not. What? Why y'all going back and forth on the internet for? Y'all old as shit, yo. Y'all might as well. Like, if y'all claim y'all real niggas and shit like that, yo. I, I mean, Chris Travis just seem like he's trying to, but, bro, if y'all, if you claim you're a real nigga and like you big and bad and shit like that, bro, just, just catch the fade. Just meet up with bro. Catch the fade. And fucking go along about it. 
go go along about your business bro go be friends or not be friends you feel me bro like y'all grew up with each other type shit y'all made music with each other y'all make bangers with each other bro like niggas want to see y'all together bro we us as fans bro me as a fan of xavier wolf and chris Travis, i don't want to see y'all fighting bro i want to see y'all come together bro i want to see y'all at least like just end the beef and make music together again, bro. Y'all made fucking bangers together. And y'all was best friends, bro. Like, yo, just, like, bro. That's how, that's how I see the situation, bro. Like, it's either y'all gonna fight that shit out and get over it, or y'all just gonna keep on beefing over the internet, bro. But with rappers these days, bro, it's really, it's really just seems like they just beef over the internet and nothing never happens. And, I mean, I guess that's, like, the safe route. Because, like, nobody won't get hurt and shit like that. So, I guess, yeah, but... Bro, it's just, like, if you claim you're a real nigga and shit like that, bro, just catch the fade and then just, like, you feel me. Not saying Xavier Wolf not a real nigga. Not saying Chris Travis not a real nigga. But, just, like, if you claim you're a real nigga and all that shit, like, just catch the fade, bro. And just get it over with, bro. Because real niggas, like, in real life, they don't... They don't do all that talking on the internet, bro. They meet up in, in squabble or freaking... Yeah, bro. Like, y'all know. <laughs> like, like, real niggas don't do that, bro. Like, you feel me? I'm not trying to say I'm a real nigga. <sighs> yeah, but, bro, that that's all I really got, bro. But Xavier with Chris Travis, bro, just do something, bro. This, this beefing over the internet shit is corny, bro. And niggas is just laughing at y'all. Like... <laughs> But bro, it's DMX Supreme Mode. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content, bro. Peace.